Ethan Bryan here again, Twila Martial Arts Academy, Twila, Utah. We're just gonna go over some basics, okay, for keeping back control. Now, um, as you start to roll, if you roll with guys that aren't that good or that are just starting or don't understand jiu-jitsu, you end up on the back a lot. But as your jiu-jitsu game grows and so do your competitors, you won't find yourself here. But there's a couple tips um, when you get someone's back that we want you to look out for. Rule number one, okay? This will happen to you one time and one time only. Hopefully, never ever cross my feet. If I cross my feet and he hips into me, oh, instant, instant ankle lock. And in jiu-jitsu competitions, right? If I get my opponent's back and my feet are crossed, I don't get any points. I don't get any points until my feet are here for three seconds. So that's a good thing to remember. Okay, I wanna stay tight. No, I don't want any space here. I want to stay nice and tight. I want one over, okay, one under. You can gable grip this way, this, whichever way you, what you would like to hold it, doesn't matter. A tip um, that I was taught um, by Eric Polson, okay? If my hands are here and they're easy to access, my opponent's gonna access them and pull them apart, okay? So I like, okay, I've got used to hiding my hands under my opponent's armpit, okay? And when I pull them down, Okay, whichever way I'm, I'm gonna pull him down. I, he has an advantageous way of fighting the choke. Yeah, he's gonna fall this way. So he can turn in to the choke. If I switch to the choke, he's gonna turn in to me. Okay? So a rule, okay, when you get someone's back, okay, you wanna fall, okay, to your own elbow. Okay, you wanna fall towards the arm. So now, for him to turn into the choke, he's gotta, yeah, he's gonna go the wrong way. So I keep this tight, everything's nice and tight here. Boom, then I can switch to the chill. So once again, just a little quick review. I got my opponent's back, okay? My chest stays on his spine, always. Stay nice and tight. One over the neck, one under the armpit. Hide your hands in the armpit. This is key here, okay? When I fall, I don't wanna to fall towards my fingers. If I fall this way, Boom, he's just gonna turn towards the choke. Okay, that's his defense. Okay, so stay nice and tight. Arm around the neck, under the armpit. Stay nice and tight. And I wanna fall towards my elbow. Nice and tight. Boom, and finish the choke. For the kids, <clears throat> for the kids, these are known as the hooks. When we yell them out, get your hooks in, get your hooks in. A lot of people sit like this and they'll be choking people. Well, there's all kinds of stuff. You don't have anything if you don't have these hooks in. So hooks are what these are known as. Some people will take these heels and they'll put them in like spurs here. Some people put their feet together, foot to foot. Just don't cross them, okay? Everything else is fine, just don't cross them. Some people even grapevine them out. Okay, that's known as a grapevine. This is known as a seat belt or a backpack position. If you watch other like fully proof, things like that, this is known as a backpack. One under, one over, head in, so you can't headbutt. Um, other than that, yeah. Happy Jiu Jitsu.